It's smelling really good. Like, it looks horrendous. Hey, well, it's not bad being a dog. I'm really jealous. He's gonna munch on the best day of his life. Do you not want it? <laughs> Hello everyone, it's Barry here. Hope you're well, wherever you are in the world. This is Boston, my pug. Ugh. He's getting on a bit now. He's starting to slow down on his walks. Likes to sleep all day. A bit like myself, really, but he's, he's still my lovely little pug, aren't you, mate? Now, Boston doesn't know it yet. No, no, no. But today is all about you. Yes. I bought him a brand new toy. He does like these toys. There you go. Right, you play with that. My hands will be one. Right, I might have regretted that. Uh, anyhow, Boston today doesn't know it yet. We are gonna be making him a dog friendly fruit pie. We're gonna make it all. I get a lot of requests to do dog friendly recipes. For example, I've done dog ice cream, but I wanted to spoil Boston today by making him a fruit pie, like a proper baked pie. And the main base of it is our own porridge oat based pastry, which you could just get oat flour, but we're gonna make that straight away. I think the reason I'm doing this today is the guilt because Boston often sits down here. Thank you, boy. <laughs> he's given up on that toy already. And he's always looking at me, I'm thinking, oh, do you know what? I will make him a pie. So the base of it is gonna be some porridge oats. Now, uh, if you want, you can just buy something called oat flour, which I've used a few times on the channel, but you can just uh, whiz up these in a food processor and you basically have the same thing. And we could just give him that on his own, but I mean, it would be a little bit sawdusty, a bit dry, especially with his tongue. Dogs can have coconut, so we can have some coconut oil and some water, which is gonna bring some moisture to make that non-sawdusty and a blob of honey too, just to give it a little bit of sweetness and hopefully create the pastry. And then maybe if we've got enough left, a little lattice topping for the pie. All right, so I've got a big old pile of porridge oats right there. And I say, if you've got oat flour, you do not have to do this step. I might save a few to sprinkle on the top as well as a little bit of a garnish, we'll see. And if you have a food processor, this step uh, would be far quicker. But I'm gonna kind of do it a little bit manual. I wanna show it a little bit of love. Put the effort in for Boston's. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Yeah, so I'm gonna have to do this in batches, just as like a smoothie maker that I've got really high power blades. Effectively just to make our oat dust. That's it, that really is what it is, oat dust. Nice. Look how chunky that is in comparison. So I'm just gonna keep making uh, some more oat dust and I'll see you in a minute. And there we go, final batch. What's the matter, mate? You can tell something's going on, can't you? He's being like overly fidgety. Good things come to those that wait, my friend, all right? In here, I'm gonna use this to warm up the coconut oil to make it easier to go in with the oats. That smell good? We're getting him going, we're, we're teasing him, we're building up those senses in his nose to be like, what is this? It's gonna be amazing. 30 seconds in there just to warm it up and uh, loosen it. Oh, right, yeah, I gave it another 30 seconds, just had one minute in there to really loosen it up. It should look like water now. Yes. Ha, 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 ha. Ha, ooh, that is hot. All right, so big old bowl, boom. Look at that, straight in there. Oh, that suddenly smells really nice. Oh! <laughs> now the dish doesn't need to go in there, so we'll take that out. But you can see from this, it's not gonna do too much. So we'll do as much as we can, and then add water as needed. And I've just suddenly realized, of course, all of these ingredients are perfectly edible for a human. So I could actually sit down and share this pie with Boston potentially, but I feel like, do you know what? It's all about him today, we wanna to spoil him. Bearing in mind we're gonna add honey too, so uh, that'll change the texture a teeny bit. But maybe like teaspoons at a time, mix it through. Because we wanna be able to roll it out easy. You know like other pastries when you roll stuff out, you're like, oh, I'll just scatter some more flour down. If you're gonna to need to do that, remember we don't have the oat flour to hand. If you have, you can just scatter some down, or we just have to get out the whizzy machine again and, well, make some more. 
but if we can get the consistency right, fairly confident we'll be all right. It's smelling really good, like it looks horrendous. Yeah, Boston, dog biscuits are a bit bland, aren't they? I mean, they are like, here's a like dull brown, but they're really good ones. He really likes them, they got all good stuff in it. I remember when he was a lot younger, I used to like think, oh, he might get a bit more excited if I buy these like brightly colored ones. And obviously they've got lots of coloring enhancements added and things like that. And uh, someone once told me it's a lot like having children. If you give them loads of additives and colorings and stuff, they go nuts and same thing happened to him. And He's quite placid now. Yeah, don't get me wrong, I'm not like a vet or anything, but like, um, that is my top tip. Like, get your dog, like, good dog food. A little drizzle of honey, because he's allowed that. And I'm going to potentially try and do a honey glaze on the pastry whilst it bakes. Here we go, Boston. You better like it after all this. Not too tacky, otherwise I would be whizzing up some more oats. Not too dry. I like this. I've even gone to the effort of buying Boston his own little pie dish. I just hope I've made enough pastry. We should be all right, because we're gonna roll it out nice and thin. And it is holding quite well. Uh, if you don't mind me saying, it does look a little bit rough. A Couple of different ways to do it, but I'm gonna try and use the non-stick paper to help me. Tr pie dish on top. Just gonna slide the board underneath for some strength. Indiana Jones style. Peel this back. And I'm gonna reuse all these offcuts to make the strips, okay? I mean, you didn't have to do the Indiana Jones thing. I just got excited doing that. You could just obviously just lift it in. Look at that. <laughs> that is amazing. So oats, honey, and coconut in there. Hey, well, it's not bad being a dog. Some of that dough might have just fallen on the floor, right? <laughs> no, it's not there anymore. You just ate it. And you approved, didn't you? Okay, you need to work with me here. Can you give me some smiling or something? She has got no idea what's coming. Anyhow, pizza cut up, just some little strips. Now time for the filling, which you could use lots of different fruits like bananas. You could use mangoes, pears, pumpkins, apples, watermelon. He does like watermelon, we've seen that before. For things a dog shouldn't have, including like main, like sugar. I uh, was gonna, I looked at that, can I put that on the pie? I can't, uh, that's why we're using the honey. Avocados, I'm not gonna give him avocado toast, he's not that posh. Cherries, dried fruit, that was a known one. Grapes, raisins, nuts, mushrooms, tomatoes, onions, and lemons. Although I don't ever see him <laughs> He's licking his lips. You don't really crave a lemon that often, do you, mate? <laughs> what I would recommend is obviously some dogs, you know, most dogs it's okay to have bananas. Boston isn't really a fan. If you say, oh, my dog Percy doesn't like bananas, but I thought I'd put it in the pie and now he's been sick for a week. Please don't do that. Please like, get fruit that you know your dog likes. For example, Boston loves blueberries and strawberries. Yeah, obviously also if you have a dog that's more on the compact size, like Boston, he's not gonna put a whole strawberry in his mouth. He will try. So I'm cutting it into much smaller pieces. Still about double the size of a blueberry, but oh, trust me, he'll wolf that down. Here's proof he likes strawberry. Yes. A nice little medley of strawberries and blueberries. This is some corn flour, okay? So you tend to put that into pies to help thicken uh, as it bakes. And this is perfectly safe too. It's really weird how I've had to do way more research on a dog-friendly recipe <laughs> than like human ones, but hey. For the time being, my pie crust, I've just put it in the fridge to chill like you would with a normal crust. We'll get our oven ready. All right, so preheating it to 350F or equivalent. And uh, this guy is very excited. I cannot believe I'm making this pie for you, Boston. <laughs> Just lay that on there like so. Oh, wow. Yes, yes, yes. There we go then, folks. And I wetted the edges with a little bit of water just to bond it together a little bit. But we are gonna add some moisture, which is also dog friendly. So normally you would give these things an egg wash. Dogs can have eggs. Apparently dogs can have boiled eggs. Now, I know what Mrs. B is like after having some boiled eggs. I don't even want to think what Boston would be like on the dog walk after that one, but then, hey, I'm currently making him a pie. I can't believe it. This, <laughs> this is going to be for you in a minute, mate. Yeah. So Boston, about half an hour in, uh, we're going to give that pastry a brush with some honey for a sweetened finish. We'll let it cool down properly. And then he's going to monge on the best day of his life. For the life of me, I honestly, I'm trying to think how the heck can I do a thumbnail with Boston and a pie? I just, I'm, I know I'm not gonna get anything from him. Like, do you enjoy that? And at what, at what point do I let him stop? 
And that has been half an hour and you can see that golden area where the egg has touched it. So we're going to enhance it even more. And I've got this honey that I'm just going to brush on there. I'm a bit worried that he's going to like this to the point where he's like, yeah, I just don't like my dog biscuits anymore. <laughs> I want a pie every day. Probably going to put it in the oven for another five to ten minutes and we'll see what it comes out like. I'm really jealous. Uh, are you just trying to save your energy? Brilliant. An extra 10 minutes on there with that honey baked on. I think it's really made a difference to that crust. And of course, Boston's going to know the difference. Here it is. Look, that extra 10 minutes, that golden colour on there. It smells amazing. And I think, well, I'm not going to know. This is like one of those rare times where I'm going to cook something and I'll never know if it tastes any good. If I try and serve Boston to this now, it will burn his tongue, bless him. So we're going to let it cool fully to room temperature whilst I work out somewhere or somehow that he can eat this uh, and not destroy the kitchen. After all this, if he doesn't want to eat it... <laughs> I think we have got you your own little table, mate, all right? <laughs> He's so confused. All right. Are you ready? There you go. Come on then, go, go, do you not want it? <laughs> What's this? What is it? You genuinely don't want to eat it, do you? Eat the pie. Oh, look, it's going, it's going for it, it's going for it. Yes, Boston. Are oh, you not just licking the pastry, surely? Oh, go on, mate, get in there. There was a slight moment where I was thinking, I wouldn't have minded a little bit of that pie. <laughs> but, oh no, he is right in there now. Right, you can't have too much, mate. But the cool thing is, I can sit here knowing we have made a honey oat coconut pastry with fruit that he is absolutely destroying. Okay, Boston, slow down. <laughs> Such a messy eater. <laughs> All right, Boston, now you've calmed down a minute. Wait a second. Is that... <laughs> Stop it. Was that the best day of your life? Yeah? This stinks. Wow. We're going to keep this, and you can eat it over many, many weeks, okay? I'm going to try and bag it up and freeze it somehow. Don't give a small dog like this much more than what he just had, but I think he was definitely enjoying himself there. Are you in a bit of a fruit coma? Yes, you are. Right. Oof. Yeah, I think he's had quite enough, but he is now looking round for crumbs and doing the occasional pug burp. So if you do try this, a bit unlike when I say, if you try this, send me a photo. I want to see if you'd make it for your dog genuinely. Send a photo of your dog with the pie. That would be absolutely hilarious. I would love to see that. But one thing we can say, I think we will agree. Yes, 100% pug approved. Nice one, Boston. Of course, the other thing to say is that the next few days might be very interesting dog walks indeed. I'll leave it there. <laughs>